Greetings, this is J. Peter Brzezzi. In this lesson, we're going to discuss an overview of one-arm virtual services. Okay, so for the single-arm setup, the load balancer has only one interface. In this case, we see it's 10.0.0.5. That's where the virtual service is running. You would also notice that the servers are on the same subnet as the virtual service 10.0.0.5. The servers here, as you can see, are 10.0.0.8 and 10.0.0.9. Now, when we look at the clients, we notice that one client in this example is on the same subnet as the server in the virtual service, 10.0.0.11. But the clients don't necessarily have to be on the same subnet in single arm configuration. So notice another client that's on a different network, 172.16.0.11, and that's coming through a router to the virtual load master IP address 10.0.0.5. The point to note here is that in a single ARM configuration, your virtual service and your servers that the virtual service is configured for are on the same subnet. So, that explains a single arm configuration for virtual services. We hope you found this informative. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.